big mama, I'm a shit talker I see him copy every look, I got a few daughters Every check I deposit, got a few commas The 16th, my surgery is scheduled for the 20th, and I leave on the 18th to Miami, Florida. I'm flying out from Boston, I'm from Providence. So I wanted to go in here and talk about a couple things. And I'm doing my urinalysis and my blood work right now. Look at how that's mess. I'm getting my x-ray right now. Pretty hot vibes. I have to get x ray, labs, your analysis, an EKG, a physical, a COVID test, and all that um, since my day is approaching. So, so first things first, my labs, I had a major issue with my labs. My so back in December, I had tonsillitis, which my white blood cells are elevated. Whenever you have an infection, your white blood cells are like fighting to protect you, so they increase. So it was really, really high back then, and I never got my tonsils taken out because I missed the appointment, whatever. Um, and it didn't bother me, just like my voice sounds a little different. But they are super swollen. My PCP told me, but she still cleared me for surgery. So, but she told me my high white blood cells are high, even though she could prove to Dr. Memeneskis that there's no infection. And she can order another test that can prove that. So I submitted it over um, to my coordinator, Daisy Paws. And when I called, um, like I called for four days and I told her at first, like, hey, my labs are a little high. Um, what can we do? I wanna know if I'm cleared for surgery. I already booked my flight, my recovery house. She's like, there might be an issue because he typically doesn't work on patients who have high white blood, so that could be an issue, depending on how high it is. So she let me know. I called on Tuesday, no response. Said she was busy, left a message call like four times. Wednesday, same thing. Thursday, same thing. Finally, Friday, I was like, listen to the reception. Like, I'm not leaving a message. I don't care if you mark it important. I want to speak to her right now or somebody right now. And you guys are going to give me the runaround that it's the weekend and you can't, you know, Saturday I call no one can help me. So I was kind of like being a bitch. But finally, she told me um, it wasn't even from my, you know, coordinator's mouth. It was from her mouth. Like, oh, I see in the system you're okay. You're cleared for surgery. And then like a second later, I got an email from Daisy saying cleared for surgery you know, the address for pre-op and all that. So that had me stressed out for a couple days. Um, I, what I've also been doing is I stopped taking my um, vitamins a long time ago, but I've been taking more iron. Sometimes I forget it. I've been making sure to be on point and taking vitamin C and other supplements like that, which I'll insert a clip of what I take. This is what I've been taking, the salve probiotic. Um, I've been taking it here for the past, what, three days, four days. So I'm keeping that one here. So when I get back and I'm taking a sleeve of it, um, with me to Miami since I'm staying there for a week and you do have to take one twice a day. I've been taking high um, potency vitamin C powder. You can get this at Whole Foods for $10. They said it's really good to help you recover if you have a lot of vitamin C and iron in you. I bought elderberry as well to make sure I don't catch a cold or get sick as well as throat spray and all that. Um, I purchased that. And also I have been taking my iron. My Floridix, I actually didn't put it in the fridge when I first got it. So I skipped like a week of not taking it and it was fermented and disgusting. So I had to throw it out. So I've been taking this for now. Um, also vitamin C tablets um, by mouth. The ones you just take, you know, orally. Not like this one that you mix in the powder. And I've been drinking a lot of teas as well. In case you want to go buy it. Um, I also joined the Facebook surgery group. I did not know about these things. I knew about like WhatsApp ones, forums, um, real self. But on Facebook, there's like Maneski dolls, um, Memeneskis, Avana dolls, Avana plastic surgery dolls, Future dolls. So I went on there and I see like pictures of people with my kind of body building foundation to see their results. So it kind of helps me get a good idea of what to expect. A lot of people say he could snatch you up. Some people say he doesn't go as aggressive with the light pole. My main goal is to have a more rounder behind because my butt is it's a little plump, but it needs some underneath like the cup. And I want a lot of hip. I'm not too concerned about my stomach. I'm more concerned about bra rolls because my stomach, I can work it out at the end of the day. It, I just haven't ever like took the time to get a train or anything like that. But hips, you cannot get hips to the gym. So I really wanted to get that filled. So all I have left to do, I repacked my bag from the first video. So I'm gonna do an updated, I guess this would be like a two in one. I'll do like an updated one I pack video. I actually got a smaller suitcase because I figured it would have checked in bag. I have to carry it to the airport. I'm gonna be in pain. So I got a smaller um, suitcase. 
and I filled it with more items. I got a couple more outfits um, and more things came in. So I'll show you guys like an exact thing of what I'm taking. Okay, girl. So I'm going to show you guys what I've ended up packing. I ended up getting a way smaller suitcase. This is a 20 inch. I bought a 24 inch, which still will like qualify as a carry on. But I think just the smaller the better, honestly. That way you don't overpack shit and that way you don't be tempted to bring shit back. This is my body before, as you can see. Okay, so I ended up packing the following hairbrush extra, which I did not have before. Um, a pair of shorts to wear around there as a pajama. I ended up putting my robe in here. Nice robe for the day of surgery. A washcloth for myself and a bunch of tank tops because I know some people, I don't know if they do it, some people said that it's good to wear these under your faja so you don't get a light bulb burn. I don't know how they're going to do it for me there. Um, I think I showed you guys all the dresses, but just a bunch of little cute bodycon dresses um, and stuff like that. Little body suits, sports bras, my foams are underneath there, um, men's shirts to pop on. I am taking the travel biotic I showed you guys. I'm also going to take a bar soap, even though I'm, I'm, I don't know if they're going to use antibacterial soap the entire time. Facial moisturizer. I have to go grab um, some face wash and shit. Um, I have my foams, compression socks, arnica, maxi pads. Um, I packed my hair thing, even though I doubt I'm going to want to be doing shit. But just in case I wet my extensions, I can dry them and not let them get matted. Some blow dry spray, my inhaler, which I totally forgot. Um, some hair scrunchies as well, because you don't want to be like having to ask people for shit or having to last minute get stuff. And what's coming in the mail, which actually gets it's here ready right now in my Amazon hub in my apartment complex, is my chucks. I ordered a pack of 25, which I don't know if it'll last, that'll be enough for a whole week, but we'll find out. If not, I could buy it from the recovery house. But, yep, that's everything I'm packing. And I also ordered an Arnica tea that came. But I'm just going to carry that in my purse. I bought like a big ass purse um, to take with me. I usually carry like a crossbody, but I want to have the bigger purse. That way I'm able to put more shit in it, like snacks for the, you know, or my makeup bag. I bought a travel pillow, you know, for the plane, be more comfortable. A new charger, my asthma pump, I'm going to put my wallet in here, you know, my personal stuff, my money. I'm also going to put my makeup bag in there. I'm just going to... And I bought a big tote bag so I can take my makeup bag with me. I might want to do my makeup the day I get there. Because I'm getting the day before pre-op and the day of pre-op. You know, like I want to look cute like before I look like shit. So I'm going to do that. I also... Sunday plans to like, you know, be a little tourist. I get there at 4. I have nothing going on. I'm going to get to the recovery house like what? 5.30. It's probably take me like an hour from the airport leaving to get there. And I'm just going to do that one thing for myself because the next day is pre-op which I heard takes several hours because they do your drug test, your COVID test, pregnancy test, more blood work, which you have to pay for on the spot. And they also measure you for your garment. And then Tuesday with my surgery, I do not know my time. I found two dolls, one on Instagram, one from YouTube on here, which also is in the Facebook group, um, who has the same surgery day as me. So those are my surgery sisters. I wish they were staying in a recovery house near me. It would have been great to like link up, you know, and recover together. It would have been a cool experience to be experiencing the same kind of doctor. So I'm going to be vlogging my entire trip as well. So um, this is going to be like a part one. Basically, this is what, two days before I fly and four days pre-op. Um, and I want to thank you guys so much for your encouraging words and your recommendations as well in the comments. I truly appreciate it. Um, again, I'll leave my other videos linked below. And thank you for watching.